So I'm also going to say hello to people who uh, enter into these prayer exercises via uh, the YouTube channel. So Anna and her group at the Priory, hello. And all of the other uh, many people who do that, you're also very welcome and a part of this community. So what are we going to do this evening? Something I haven't tried before, actually. We're going to be praying imaginatively uh, with one of St. Paul's letters. I bet that hasn't been done on too many occasions. Because it, it's an imaginative exercise, we always say, and if we don't say we should, don't force anything, go with the flow. Allow the the spirit to take you where she wills. And if the spirit wants to go in a different direction to the one I'm taking you in, it's better you ignore me than the spirit. Uh, the reading we're taking, a bit of Paul we're taking, is the second reading from uh, the Mass of next Sunday, which is Gaudete or Rejoice, Rejoicing. Sunday. So there's a bit of uh, joy around that reading. And a little bit like last week with Tim's exam, I'm going to be suggesting, inviting a conversation between you and between Jesus, between you and Jesus. That is, if he wants a conversation today, he, he tends to make up his own mind on these things I have found. Uh, the Jesus who is coming at Christmas, uh, and importantly, who is already here, uh, in your house, in the room that you are in, uh, whether you have tidied it up or not. So, I'm going to share screen. Uh, this image was taken, I think, exactly 10 years ago. And it's uh, in the grounds of Loyola Hall Jesuit Spirituality Center. So take a moment and arrive in this shared prayerful space. And as you sit there, notice how you are in your body. If you need to move about a bit, do. And if you need to relax a bit, to let out any of the tension that's built up over the day, As you breathe out, let, let some of that tension go. Hand it over to God. And this evening, is there 
Anything on your mind? And if there is, let God know what it is. And how are you feeling? And give yourself permission to be however you are just now. And in this season of Advent, Let Jesus come to your awareness. With you in your room. It might be that you have an imaginative sense of him, an image. Or that it's an intuitive sense. Or a simple act of faith. Or hope. And there might be a, a chair or a space on the floor where he wants to sit. So let him settle. So for you, how is he here with you? And how is he looking at you or with you? What do you notice about him?
and we look at the reading for Sunday. St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not extinguish the spirit. Do not despise prophecy, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. From every form of evil, keep away. May the God of peace sanctify you through and through. The one who calls you is faithful. I invite you to let Jesus look at each part of this reading with you. Rejoice always. What is giving Jesus joy? If you want to, ask him. Is there something of his joy that he is wanting to share with you now? Pray without ceasing, which is surely only possible if ironing or doing the dishes can also be prayer. What does Jesus think about that? Action as a way of praying.
In everything, give thanks. Ask Jesus to show you something from today for which you feel thankful. Ask him to do that for you, to show you. What's he showing you? And take a little time to enjoy it, uh, the two of you, enjoy it together. And it is good to enjoy it together, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Maybe as you are spending time with this passage with Jesus, there are words, your words, his words, or maybe there aren't words. Do not extinguish the spirit. What gift of the spirit has Jesus given to you? Name it together. Do not despise prophecy. What truth, what facts about our world does he want you to take seriously and to witness to with courage?
and ask him for that courage and the opportunity. But test everything, hold fast to what is good. From every form of evil, keep away. How does the bad spirit try and steal your joy? Try and steal your peace of mind. What messages go on in your head that undermine you or disturb you? Identify just one of them. And speak this to Jesus. Let him hear it. What does Jesus have to say or what does he want to do about those bad spirit vibes and let him say it or do it now. May the God of peace sanctify you through and through. When we are listening, God speaks in peace. How is Jesus wanting to give you his peace?
the one who calls you is faithful. Can you notice in Jesus his recognition of how challenging these times are? And let him remind you of his promises to you. Take another minute or two, you and Jesus together. Again, maybe there are words that don't have to be. Enjoy each other's company. As we near the end of this time of prayer, is there anything left unsaid or undone between you? And as the two of you look back over this prayer, what's been the main gift of it? What would it be good to spend a little longer with?
and how do you and Jesus finish this time of prayer together or take leave of each other for now? Is there anything you want to ask of him before we finish? And we end this prayer with that blessing of St. Paul. May the God of peace sanctify you through and through. The one who calls you is faithful. Amen.